I'm not going to lie, this is probably bad on me, but I had no idea until I came in here and I was like, where's Bo Mel? I was like, I, what inning did he get ejected? <laughs> before, before the game? Okay, so like I came in, I was like, where's Bo Mel? And then I was sitting there, I was like, what's going on? And then I came out, walked back in, and he's sitting in his office. I was like, I was like okay. <laughs> I, I had no idea. I literally had no idea. What up, what up? This is Big Pump from South City. You are now listening to The Morning Mother and Rose with my boys Bonte and Shasky on 95.7 The Game. So, Hayden Birdsong had no idea Bo Mel was ejected before the game. So you can say a couple things here. And maybe one that pops up in your head right away, Roasters. And good morning, we're back. 6 to 10, we're back. Reluctantly. <laughs> See, Sasky, I came in this morning reluctantly, but I did come in. <laughs> reluctantly. Reluctantly. No. Hey, Bursaw walking back into the clubhouse, I mean, into the dugout, not knowing his manager was there. So, is he speaking to Bo Bell's presence in the clubhouse? Is he just locked in and just going straight for Ryan Price's pitching coach? Does he not? Does he just have tunnel vision where he's just like, oh, I don't know. He said he didn't even know. That Bo Bell was not, he was like, where's Bo Bell at? Where, it, he had no idea he was ejected. Now, maybe he was warming up the bullpen, Chasky. Maybe he didn't see the ejection because he's out there in the outfield, uh, center field or whatever they warm up uh, for yeah, the bullpen. Yeah, but I every inning coming back into the dugout, you're not getting like a, that a boy as you're having a like yeah, unbelievable know. day. I, I How about just, when you go back out there? Because they were going to take him out after the fifth, it felt like. And then he goes back out there for the sixth. You, 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 you're not having a conversation with your manager? Yeah, is this I, I, so? Like, I guess my question, like, is this all the way you read it? Is it like, oh, Bowmel has such a lack of presence on that first step or in that dugout, or is this the other way? Oh, this is just how baseball is in the modern era, where the manager uh, literally doesn't communicate or even make yeah. eye contact with their starting pitcher. Both to me are non-starters. Well, I think one is it's just the Giants' way. I, I have a hard time thinking that. Mookie Betts is going to walk back into the Dodgers clubhouse without Dave Roberts saying something. Like that a boy, uh, yeah. yeah like, you know Brian I mean? Snicker uh, yeah. in Atlanta. No, I'm with you. you, you know, hey, like, Chris Sale, yeah. good job. Yeah, Aaron Boone, Judge is going to walk in the clubhouse in Yankee, in Yankee Stadium. Yeah, you know, I didn't even know Aaron Boone was around. Or Carlos Rodon. You better believe Aaron Boone's going to say something to Carlos Rodon with the way he's struggling in Yankee Stadium. I just, both, like, Hayden Bursar didn't know Bo Bell was around. Your and starting here. pitcher I, I, having just, a monster day. Just, I mean, you got to be kidding both, me. You know, what really bothered me was the body language of Bob Melvin in that postgame pressure yesterday. Just look at him kind of smirking where they asked him to quit. And I wanted the reporters to follow up. Oh, I wanted more information. What was the follow-up you wanted? Well, I want just, hey, so you got ejected. What really happened? He gave some very vague answers on what happened. Well, here's Bo Bell. Here's Bo Bell. Let's hear from him himself on his pregame ejection. Yeah, look, it's the umpiring's a hard job. Yeah. I'm very aware of that. But like I said, it just probably said a little too much. What's there? Uh, I mean, do you, kind of, do you believe at all in like, getting the injection to fire up your side and all that? Uh, you know, that's more of an in game type of thing. But. It was just, you know, I just, you know, I, I didn't, I didn't plan that. So it wasn't choreographed. It just got, I probably went too far. I, yeah, it felt choreographed to me. I'm sorry. So here, here's my theory on on like getting angry at officials, uh, referees, umpires, just in general. If you're not going to do it in the moment or immediately after the game and, and have a conversation with that individual, yeah. and if a day goes by, it's too late. It's, it's 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 too late. In the, I, I've in the never umpire, seen anything like this in the umpiring world. At least when I've umpired, just my my setting is. You're going backwards? You're going back multiple days? Take a hike. Like, take a hike. And on that play with Brett Wisely, so it's the fourth inning. There's runners on first and second. Yeah. There's one out at the time. Brett Wisely hits a ground ball. And they were mad about the strike zone and whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, stop with the arguing on strike zones, okay? It's, I'm, I'm so tired of hearing about strike zone arguing. Brett Wisely hits a ball down the line. The first base umpire is behind mm -hmm. the first baseman, almost in short right field down that first baseline. And he moves more in the field of play, and the ball hits him, ricochets back to the first right. baseman, who was paying attention. He catches the ball on the ricochet, runs over to first, slides into first, and gets Brett Wisely out. Look, it sucks. Right. It's an unfortunate play. Sometimes uh, the ball bounces your way, sometimes it doesn't. Was I angry the umpire went in more into fair territory as opposed to foul? Yes. 
Had the umpire been in front of the infielder, it would have been umpire uh, interference. Right. But because he's behind him and the and the infielder has a clean look at it, it's not. The ball is a live ball, blah, blah, blah. It does suck. If you're angry then, you go out right then and there and yeah. you yell at the guy right then and there. I mean, if you're angry that day, you go after the game and you blast the guy that day. You don't wait two days. I didn't, I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> That's just weak. I, I never saw anything with... When it was like, wait, he got ejected for something that happened Friday. I'm sitting there Sunday, yesterday afternoon thinking, wait, you got, you had Friday, you had all day Saturday, and as your team lost the first two games of the series, you get ejected before a game where you could have got swept in Colorado. That was a real thing. Camilo Duvall threw six straight pitches outside of the strike zone yesterday in the ninth inning, and we're all thinking, boy, here we go again. <laughs> and then the strike he did get on strike one was a gift from the umpire. Uh, who was the guy to play? He was irate. He was like, what the hell? That's a strike? What is that? Look, ESPN cares so much about the Giants. This, this, is where, this is a microcosm of who the Giants are right now. Whoever wrote the game notes or whatever for or the recap for ESPN has no idea what the hell's going on with the Giants. Blake it says this. Up next, Blake Snell is expected to be activated from the injury list to open a series at the uh, uh, against the Dodgers tonight. Snell has been on the IL since June 3rd with the left groin straight. <laughs> they have no idea that Blake Snell's already pitched two, well, had two starts for the All-Star break. They just melted in. It's like, yeah, he hasn't pitched since June 3rd. Well, that kind of fits in with the Giants rotation because they have no idea the manager's in the dugout. They have no idea the no manager's idea. in the dugout. Okay, let me play the ejection. Let me play the ejection real quick. This was just a few moments ago. Bob Belfin brought the lineup card out himself, and it could be that he got tossed. I don't see him in the usual captain's chair. I see Christensen in, at the top step, so we'll find out here in a minute. <laughs> I got a joke for you, Bonte. Come like, on, man. When like, our it's... boss isn't here, we all know he's not here, right? Yeah, I mean, Do we not? Yeah, we Do know we his, his if presence. If Shanahan is well. wasn't on the sideline, we would know. Would we know? Well, we knew that Steve Wilkes was in the press box. <laughs> I mean, he, if, he was in the he was in the press box. He wasn't, Kerr, he wasn't on the sideline. <laughs> if Steve Kerr wasn't on the sideline, we would know. <laughs> yeah, we knew Mike Brown was in Sacramento. Imagine <laughs> like you are the starting pitcher. You're having an iconic day for yourself, and you had no idea that the manager wasn't there. It's just the, the whole everything about the Giants reads Little League. It just does. No, this is literally crying. Perfect. How about this? Hey, hey, how about this? Instead of bitching and complaining about the umpire not getting out of the way, which he should have gotten out of the way, I agree with. But if you're going to be mad, get mad in real time or get mad that night. How about you dial up, I don't know, a bunt? How about you, you dial up a base hit you know, with runners in scoring position you, you, on a night know, where I take the wisely at bat away? You, know, you Shasky, were one for several on. runners I, in scoring position. How about you have your bullpen I, that you've taxed through the roof hold, this year hold on. actually hold the lead? No, you know what, Shasky? You know, let's dial it back. Let's dial it down. Let, I'm going to tell you why. It feels like we're manufacturing passion for a lackluster baseball team. And I'm not going to do it no more. I, I'm sorry. It's the same old song. I'm just listening to you, and I'm listening to myself, and we're sitting here talking, and I'm looking at these Sydney mobile texts. So it's the same old song. We're on a repeat when it comes to the San Francisco Giants. We took a week off from that, which really should have been their week, the All-Star week, but, you know, they're not compelling at all. <laughs> Logan Webb gets blown up in the All-Star game anyway. But it's the same old song. Lack of uh, situational baseball. Bullpen blowing the game. Boy, starting to win five innings. Woo-wee, yay. Manager gets ejected for something that happened two games prior. You lost the series in Colorado. You're four games under 500. Your hottest hitter is Mike Kostrzewski, who everybody wanted out of town a couple <laughs> weeks ago. And it's kind of a microcosm of what this, Giants, this era of Giants baseball is about. Look, I'm not going to do it again. I'm not, I'm not doing this. I'm not going to fake energy or fake. This team doesn't care. Why should I care? They're telling the fans that we really don't care. Farhan told you, yeah, I'm going to put it on the players. They've been disappointing. We're probably going to be sellers. But, but here's the part where I get frustrated. You told me as an organization from top to bottom, man, hey, everything about this year matters during this time period immediately after the All-Star break, and which I thought was absurd to begin with. Like, you don't make decisions, in my estimation, yeah. you don't make decisions about a six-month journey 
in a, in a seven day span, right? Like the big picture has to matter, right? So like, oh my God, we were hot for seven days. Now we buy, buy, buy. Like, no, nah, that's not how, that's just not how I do it. Same right. way I don't make decisions on my roster. Wow, Chase Young had a great Super Bowl. Let's bring him back. Like, no, Let's give like, the guarantee. body of work wasn't great. You know what I mean? So no, he can go, even though he had a great game. Just because you have a great little stretch doesn't mean you're a great team. But you can't tell me for a week straight, this time matters, and then come out and not score more than three runs in any game at against Coors Colorado. Field. At Coors Field. That's what I'm saying. At Coors Field. So I'm not. A couple not of gonna, solo shots. There's, great. There's no reason to be outraged, which is sad. The Giants have taken me to this point to where I'm not going to lose sleep over them, which is sad. I want to lose sleep over a sports team. I want to be irate. I want to be pat. I want this team to be good. But they, you're going out there and you're trotting out guys that wouldn't be on big boy teams. I mean, I'd rather talk WNBA All-Star game, Team USA losing to the WNBA All-Stars. I'd rather talk about training camp on Wednesday. This team, you try to give them a shot. Okay, Giants, here we go. Dodgers coming up. You got your staff coming back. Let's go. Yeah, urgency. Stakes are high. We mandatory to go to the playoffs. This is not a serious baseball team. Did this you- is not a serious organization. All right, save, save your thought on the other side. It's just, Shaskin, they're not a serious organization.